Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Let's just get straight into this one. So over here on his Instagram, we're gonna be trying to recreate one of his edits. So he has sent me an image. So obviously he's going for a real film look. So you guys go give him a link down in the description. I'll be putting all of his links down there. And he also has presets. So if you click here, we can check out his presets, some before and afters, and then you can also click right down on see more at the bottom. So this will take you over to his store page. I'll link it also down in the description, but you can come over and check out his presets and you guys can have a look for yourself if you like these, but these will be linked down in the description for you guys. So back over to his Instagram, let's just talk about his style a bit, some of the characteristics. So obviously he's going for those really nice orange tones. He's trying to get the film look which he achieves very well this shot's film for example and he's going for that really nice warm look to his images and we're trying to recreate this one today so orange tones throughout the image maybe some greens in the mid tones as well and then there's for sure a use of blues and those blues go quite a teal so a really nice, vibrant film look. I uh, personally really like his work. This shot is on film, and then this one is done with his presets. So you can see how he does a really good job of recreating that film look throughout his images. So yeah, go give him a follow down in the description, guys. Right, so let's crack into this tutorial. I'll show you the cropping that I've already done. So if I click here, uh, we don't have four by five is what we usually do, but we've got five by seven and that's just a bit taller. So that's all we did. We punched in a bit to probably just fill the frame with the subject a bit more. Okay, so the settings, 35, nice portrait, focal length, if you wanna include the background. F2, bit of shallow depth of field, but it'll still be really sharp. The subject will still be really sharp. And then a pretty quick shutter speed just to expose the image correctly. And then an ISO pretty low because we do have a pretty fast f-stop there. Okay, so let's get into the settings here. Let's turn on the curves. I'll show you why I did this these the way I did so uh, we just got too much contrast let's quickly drop the contrast I'll just up the blacks a bit okay I'll just show you just roughly do those so I can show you what I did in the curves so starting down the bottom here this is going to give us that nice gradual fade you can see he has in his image so if we turn it on and off we have this nice fade here just drop it down don't have that fade have that fade and it's pretty nice and gradual so that's why uh, this is up this point shadow point is up here it's not gonna be like down here because it was like nice and gradual so that's why I went for about there and then a softness to the white so they aren't too strong so I just drop them down a bit and then the highlights are up a bit the midtones are up a little bit there because he does have quite a warm vibrant feeling to his image in terms of brightness okay so let's go into the color channels now now starting from the bottom again if we go red green blue there's a bit more red and green in the darkest of the shadows there so that's going to introduce a little bit of this rich orange that he has in his shadows and we're also going to do quite a bit of color in the split toning but i just wanted to target those darker shadows a bit with a warm tone and then as you can see the greens come through a bit in the mid tones so here's quite a warm it's a little bit green it's like a bright orange so a bit more green in the mid tones there and then as for the blue channel a bit more blue in the highlights so in the brighter areas and that's just going to counteract all those warm tones we put into the shadows you'll see later on yeah balances out those really warm tones that we have going on in the mid tones and the shadows so that's the curves and now if we just quickly do some of these adjustments um i think we're, we're pretty good um let me touch more contrast overall brightness and I don't think we are going to mess with white balance at all. 
shadows for that nice warm look and now I know I'm gonna come down with a filter down the bottom so I'm not too worried like his image looks way darker down there but we're gonna do a filter down the bottom and then blacks texture and stuff is obviously trying to go for that film look so I'm gonna drop the texture a bit just to take that digital look out and I'm not too sure about this one but I'll, I'll maybe I'll up the clarity a little I'll try that and I think it still looks okay because we dropped that texture a bit vibrance he's definitely got a vibrant look okay a bit of saturation Okay, looking pretty good okay definitely the next step is going to be the split toning adding in those orange tones let's come down to the shadows here let's go with a hue of 34 so we'll keep it there and let's just up the saturation 20 so it's quite a bit but as you can see how warm that makes the image so that's before and after see how the jacket is almost blue and then bang takes out a lot of those tones uh, let's come across the highlights for the highlights a hue of 50 so a nice yellow almost an orange and we will go with a 10 that also warms up the image a lot uh, yeah we're about done with split toning but here's the before and after of it it's really warming up the image there and then while we're down here I'll just quickly do sharpening now I think we'll just bring up the masking a lot and then sharpening a bit or quite a bit as well and then the masking what that does we're gonna sharpen the big edges so option slide this we just want the big edges because I think by looking at his image kind of makes the subject pop out quite a bit when you just sharpen the big edges because the subject has a lot of big edges in it for this one we won't do profile corrections i'll keep the natural vignette there then while we're down here we'll just put in a bit of grain it's pretty hard to notice i don't think there's a possibility there isn't any grain but he does go for such a film look i just feel like i need to add it so i'm just going to put in a little bit 12 i might even make it smaller okay right so let's fine tune our colors and that should basically finish our edit once we fine tune our colors i won't even start in the hue i think our colors are pretty good but i think the vibrant look he goes for lets up the luminance of the yellows quite a bit maybe even oranges as well aquas so these are like our bright blues and i'm going to bring them up a lot and you can sort of see that's probably the only aqua we have in the image might not go quite that high something like that blues for this image i might bring it down quite a bit but not all of his images would obviously have the luminance this low and it sort of just brings back the tones up in the sky there and stuff and we'll just drop the saturation of the blues so the blues especially in her jeans there we need to bring that down quite a bit uh, let's make these yellows stand out oranges stand out a bit and then greens down a bit so taking down the greens would almost make your yellows stand out more over here let's warm up our green so back there you can see there's a few greens we need less in our image let's make them a yellow warming up our yellows a bit and then so we don't have too many reds let's go with that let's go for a teal for our blues Let's go for a bit of a green okay and we are about finished i'll just show you this filter we put down the bottom so it's just a drop in exposure so it just brings your eye upwards to the subject so if i delete this you see how it's quite bright so and the image almost looks too bright it kind of looks unnatural but by doing this we keep a natural kind of makes the image look like it's got a natural amount of shadow but we still get this really warm feeling in the top half of the image and yeah I think that makes the image look natural as well as framing the subject a bit better and then what I didn't show you I've got some filters on the face here but pressing O this is where it's affecting it's not doing a lot so if I was to delete it maybe didn't even need it but we just brighten the subject a touch and the contrast up a tiny bit but yeah 
maybe didn't need it, maybe shouldn't have done it. it it's a small change there. And then just here, if I press O, her white shirt here, so if I delete it, it's holding holding quite a few blues and I just felt like it looks a little brighter over in his. I think he went out of his way to make this white really stand out, helping the subject stand out. So I just put in a bit of brightness there and then I wanted to take the blues out of the white. So it just looks like a, a little blue there. So I don't know. I did it this way and I just took out a bit of those blues, kept some greens in there or pulled out some purples and then yeah just made it a little brighter and that's about it it's hard to tell exactly about sharpening because it is a screenshot off his instagram here is the before and after and yeah the main thing recapping this was the warmth in the shadows bit of warmth in the highlights and then Generally, you go for a darker tone in the shadows and you do highlights. And then just the curves, there was quite a bit of playing around. And greens, mid-tones, blues, highlights, reds or an orange in the shadowy shadows or the darker shadows. And then, yeah, fade, definitely a fade to the shadows if we don't do that. Nice fade there, bringing out those orange warm tones and yeah here's a before and after again and that's it for this one his links down in the description check out his presets as well they're also linked down there catch you in the next one